Hi then guys, it's Michael here. Um, recently I received email from Lecato, right? It's a company that builds uh, pedals, uh, pedal boards and all different stuff um, for musicians, right? Um, from, I don't know, radio packs, whatever you name it. So they're kind enough and they send me a um, pedal board, right? That I was interested in buying it. And they sent me this to do actually video and review it. So here it is, I'll show you the box. It's really big, right? So, shall we open it? Okay, there you go. Right, just sit down. So, let's see what is inside. Mm. Very well packed. Ooh. Very well packed. There you go, it's another box here. So, let's, let's have a look at this. Alright. We have another box. I hope I hope it's not like a those Russian babushkas where you can kind of open a smaller and smaller box. On and on. Nah, I don't know. I'm only joking. But I think that's uh, it's gonna look cool, and I think it's gonna be the right size for what I was looking for as well for my pedal board. Okay, I'm a little bit stuck here. That way, now you see. I have to pick. The guitar pick should do it. If you're always stuck, this is jazz three. It's open in cases. Oh. Did that work? Alright, that work. Great. Really well packed. It's really well packed. Um, that's a good sign. So, you definitely not gonna receive something damaged. Um, it should be all good. Alright, so. Cool. Now, here you go. That's the pedal board. Nice. Very, very nice. There you go. That's the name of the brand, Lecato. Right. Uh, cool, looks great, looks like a great case. Okay. That's how it looks. Size is small. I thought actually it's going to be much, much bigger. Um, the size, okay. Case looks really, really sturdy. It's a great zips on it. And from my previous experiences, like a um, long time ago, I bought a pedal train. Um, oh, sorry, Temple Audio. Temple Audio uh, pedal board. And great pedal boards, right? Amazing. But the, the bag itself lasts me maybe six months. And then actually getting the new back for it was the same as just you buy no pedal board just the pedal board itself from them so yeah that looks really sturdy really good zips as well very good material very strong so definitely will last longer than some of the you know uh, more known or expensive brands would spend money on pedal board okay and then that's how it looks inside there's also a good pouch for your leads and um, other kind of a stuff Great, okay, there's a velcro, a strap, all right, and a little screwdriver. There you go, so then you can open the, I think in the bottom you can open the uh, the pedal board and then that's where you can place your uh, power, power supply. Uh, cool. So, here it is. That's the pedal board, right? And we just unpack it as well and see what it is inside. guys very nice very nice pedal board as I said really really sturdy built yeah that's gonna last a long time and um, what I really like about the design I'll actually kind of draw my attention to it it's that you can put all your leads you know sort of an inside pedal board and just connect your pedals rather than sometimes you have your pedals on and then be like a lot of leads in between them which I kind of don't like that it's very kind of untidy and when you travel and you gig, um, you know, all that stuff kind of moves and blocks itself. So then you get, um, you know, a lot of different noises or home and stuff like that. So that's pretty nice and neat and tidy kind of idea. Uh, just to have it green. And then and you can run the leads as well from the back here. Okay. And this is a nice spot for like a volume pedal or a wah pedal. I usually use wah pedal. 
So that's where my crybaby is going to go. Uh, yeah, it's made out of plastic, but it's really sturdy. I think you can easily stand on it. You can slightly bend it in here, right? But it's really, really hard. And I think you could easily stand on this and it will survive this. Actually, I'll try that and I'll let you know. Uh, so, all right, so we have the little screwdriver. So let's open this part here, right? This is where you mount your um, power supply. Do you mean? Uh, the supply of pedals. So let's have a look at this quickly. Um, let me just grab the screwdriver and uh, let's do it. Right. How do we open this now? Okay, so that's the little screwdriver. I'm gonna open it up quickly for you just to show you uh, how that kind of looks inside, right? Uh, so you have four screws uh, to do it. And uh, let's see. Okay. So am I gonna actually do two videos on this? And I'll do the next one when I put the whole pedals together, um, and you know, show you how that kind of looks with the pedals. Then, um, okay. So there's four little screws like that. All right, we'll put them here. Cool. And then what we're gonna do? Put the screwdriver on my desk. So my room is very small, so it's kind of hard to do these kind of videos at the moment. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. So then you take this out, and this is where you can place your um, power supply. And that's how that kind of looks inside. That's the bottom of the tree. It's really sturdy. So, a little bit close up of all the edges. Alright, that's how it looks. There's a velcro here. Okay. That's how it looks from the back. Inside. And then on the, on the back here, okay? So, that's the size of it. It's just a nice, uh, nice neat pedal board. Um, yeah, okay, that's all I can say about it. It looks amazing, uh, it's really, really good. Let me, let me just, yeah, it's really stuff, it's really sturdy here. Uh, I mean, you're not going to be jumping on it anyway, so uh, it will definitely uh, be sturdy enough to, like, you know, switching your pedals and standing on it, definitely, it's going to be good. Um, yeah, really liking it. Um, so, thank you to Kara from, uh, from Mercado for sending me this, and I'm glad to do demo of it. And um, let me put, put the pedal board together and I'll do the next video and I'll show my pedal board how actually that um, works, right? So there you go, that's your pedal board from Lakato. It looks amazing. So actually, let's see, let's put it back in the case. So, all right, to put in the case, it's actually that sort of a size. It looks big, right? But it's actually not. It's, you, can, you can kind of fly with it. I think it's. Um, it's about what, 50 centimeters, but it's not that massive. It's not that big. You can probably put in a sort of a, you know, um, so one board luggage and you can fly with this. Um, so that's really, really cool. I definitely going to use it now on the gigs, on the next couple of coming gigs around Europe. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know maybe how that works out. I'm looking forward to it because I have a pedal train, but the only thing is like what I don't like about all these other pedal support brands that, you know, you have the lead sticking out and all that kind of stuff. It looks kind of untidy, you know. Um, but this is like you can actually hide it here and close it off and then just put down on the stage and it's fine. Like I was playing Geek in Belgium, um, Grass Pop, a couple of weeks ago and, you know, it was heavy raining. So everything was in water. So I think that's also a good idea, closing it off. So you're not going to get much water to get in. And obviously this is, this part, right, this little part here, those holes, they're actually not holes to go through it. It's more like a... I can feel like a little pillars in here inside, so they sort of are like secure from you know from squashing the panel board and stuff like that, which makes it more sturdy and obviously water wouldn't wouldn't get in here this way as well. So yeah, it's it's a really well designed product. Um looks amazing. Thank you again, Kiara um Black Hato, um you guys for sending me this. And I'm gonna make a good use out of it. So yeah. That's enough talking. Let's uh, let's build the pedal board, and I'll let you I'll, I'll let you to see how it looks. Right. Thank you again. Hi then, guys. So here's the quick update. Uh, so I just assembled my pedal board. All right, and that's how it looks. Nothing fancy. Just a couple of pedals. I don't really like using pedals that much. Uh, but. Yeah, that's the power plant that I used from Harley Benton. So that's all connected now. So now in a minute, I'm going to check it and see if it's all working. Uh, but it looks good. I used some of the Velcro that I got. Uh, 
just to get that guy, you know, uh, grounded to this plate so it doesn't move. And I use a bit of a wire pedal. Now the only problem with the wire pedal is always that you have those screws on the bottom. So even if you take off those rubbers, um, you know, it's still kind of hard to kind of keep it. But I think I'm happy with that. Like, you know what I mean? So that should be okay. Um, all the other pedals are fine. I actually, I'm using the old Velcro that I have. So depends where it is. Some of them will hold a bit stronger. Some of them a little bit less. But uh, over the time, I'm just going to change to that. And that should actually fix it really well because when I connect this together it actually it's fairly fairly good so yeah it's a nice little pedal board I really like it so yeah I hope you enjoyed uh, the video uh, let me just uh, close this plate now and let's see if it's all working and flashing wow so this is how it looks from the back now when I closed it all the leads now I probably could tidy up the leads inside a little bit better so that's sort of a kind of bends out a little bit here but it's still okay it holds it really well so it's just uh it's just actually the power brick and the leads and there's loads of them here so um actually what i should do maybe move it a little bit up and that should kind of hopefully fix it but yeah let's see if it works cool so everything works like it should that's why i'm running my power out of okay that's how it's kind of worked out yeah, the only thing I would say is just, uh, just again, it's my kind of probably fault, uh, just putting the cables on the back of the pedal board, where's that plate? So just keep an eye on your pedal brick and actually how the leads are sticking out because it's kind of like tricky to close it. You have to kind of go around the edge, you know, of the pedal board and sort of slide it in and then it closes off. I obviously made a bit of a mess with the uh, with the leads, but I, I'll fix that in a while. I'm kind of happy with it, uh, what it looks like and how it turned out. So I'm going to gig it tonight and see how that sort of goes. Looks amazing. Thank you. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it and hope I give you a good insight of um, this cool little pedal board. Um, so I'm ready to go play a gig and rock it out. See what happens. Um, on the gig, I'll let you know. So you can close that. Cool. There you go, Lecato. Yeah, it's nice, it's not heavy. Cool, quite sturdy. And thank you again to Legato for sending me this cool stuff. Right, peace then.